Forming the Roman Empire in CK3 is meant to be one of the hardest achievements in the game. But today, we're going to form it in just one lifetime, starting in 867. But who can you do this with? What man has this kind of power? This is Count Hastings of Montague. And he's got dreams of becoming the Roman Emperor. It's quite official, quite him. Hastings of Montague. I'm also a man with dreams, namely hitting 200,000 subscribers. Fortunately for me, you're sitting right there. Unsubscribed. Emasculate. Subscribing to the channel will be a fantastic way to do something productive with your day and also help me achieve my dreams. Yeah, that'll do it. If you listen faintly, you can hear Koifish screaming because I'm going to be playing as Count Hastine of Montague and I'm going to form the Roman Empire. You might be wondering why Count Hastine? Why not anyone else? I don't know, it just seems like fun. So we're going to go on a bit of a Varangian uh, adventure, is the idea. I think I might just go for Rome uh, off the bat. My plan is to head this way, conquer a bunch of territory, and then I'm going to swear fealty to the Byzantines, claim their throne, and then use that as a staging point to reclaim Rome. Plan, at least. We'll see how effective that is. So we'll the meritocracy one first. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Why not? Uh, Varangian adventure against the Pope. Raise all armies. And we have the Count Hastings uh, host, which is pretty sick for now. I'm starting to see why Koifish plays this guy. All right, and this is before the Pope's gonna get all of his money. That means he's gonna summon every mercenary under the goddamn sun. And he's already summoned a couple. And a couple more. Slightly concerned that uh, the sheer amount of mercenaries he's got, so I decided to pick up a couple myself. Maybe a waste of resources, but... You know, I think it's worth it. I would have gone for the Byzantines off the bat, by the way, but um, too far away to interact with. Maybe we should have conquered over here instead, and then gone for Varangian adventure for, but nah, this is fine. I should be able to take this fast and the Pope can take that. Fingers crossed. There we go. Force demands. There goes the Pope. Okay, so now we have Latium. I don't know where the Pope is these days. Is he still over here? He's got the Theocracy. He's still, he's still around somewhere. We're gonna grab Meritocracy from now. Okay, so we should be close enough. To swear fealty, it needs to be neighboring. So maybe we go after the Aglabids. I think go after the Aglabids for uh, Sicily is a good idea. That'll bring us in contact with the Byzantines. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Why is Tavoli our capital? No, I want Rome to be my capital. Can't do it at war, but like, why, is, why Tavoli? Masters are expiring soon. Uh, I think I'll extend them. It's probably worth it. Cool. So the peasants went and occupied the territory uh, and then killed themselves against me, meaning that my occupations were null and void. That's fun. What do they call me? I checked my name, The Stranger. You came to Rome from far away, and now, even now, many of your mannerisms are strange and foreign. I mean, yeah, we're Norse. Makes sense. I just like the fact that, um, historically, Hastings got his wealth from the Mediterranean. So it's kind of cool that he raided the Mediterranean, went up, settled Montague, and went, nah, we're going back. The weather's better. Oh, we're going to straight in for his capital. Oh, hang on. He's behind us. There we go. Excellent. All right, so we've got some discontent. Okay, so now we can swear fealty, which means we're going to get religiously protected. Hmm. I want to do this now before, you know... He, he heads out on Hastine. Uh, we can get Huskars of Rangian veterans. Let's get those, because they're pretty good. Okay, so if we were to swear fealty for religious taxation, then I'm going to see here. Uh, where are you? Claim liege title. No, it's a scheme, isn't it? Claim throne. So we're claiming his throne immediately, as in the midst of this war. Uh, and then I'm going to go after him. Raise a rune stone. Why not? Put it in Rome. That seems like a massive uh, screw you to, uh, to the Romans. I like it. Okay, we're gonna raise up our troops from now. Extend this contract. All right, and then we're gonna fight this lot. Are you ready? Where are you going? There we go. And you, I'll negotiate your release. Turn to Staru, and then I'm gonna recruit you. You and King Charles are engaged in a brutal feud. Why? Why? Well, sure. Oh, well, there goes West Frankie, I guess. I didn't do anything. You can't blame me for that. We're gonna go for chivalry, and we're gonna reset our perks uh, and go down this route. Got Bell of Justin, uh, just because it's gonna make our troops a little better. And we are gonna go down this whole of bodies thing. It's a shame because I think we did just lose whole of body, which makes us a little less healthy. Okay, we've got press claim against the Byzantine Empire. This has gone very, very quickly. Uh, okay, what we want to do now is considering either we attack him directly or we try and get claim and start a claiming faction. And let's flip over to chivalry, get our wife to manage everything. So what I'm doing here is I'm just waiting for him to suffer a little bit and then we're gonna press our claim. Okay, so now we raise our armies. We're heading straight for the capital. Where's he going? Is he going for me? He is. Okay, maybe we should go back and deal with that. Kind of surprised. I thought he'd, um, well, I thought he'd fight the Khazars a little bit, but he just immediately turned tail and left. Extend it, even though it's going to cost me a lot of money. All right, now we need to go deal with him. Oh, nice. Good little victory there. Okay, long live the emperor. Right, uh, we're going to reclaim Constantinople. Let's become our realm capital. Excellent. Now, fortunately, we still have to deal with this lot. 
Oh, they'll accept a white piece. Ideal. Okay. Good. Okay. Pout some ransom. Right. So now we are the Byzantine Emperor's hasty. This is further than I thought I'd care. So to restore the Roman Empire, we need to completely control these territories. We actually have a deep, uh, decent amount already. Uh, we need Venice, Romagna, Genoa, Capua, uh, basically all of Italy, Alexandria. Okay. Well, let's get going, shall we? I will raise up over here and let's head into Venice. I should probably change these guys around. My, my spy master is terrible. So is my student. So is everyone. What inheritable traits can I give to my son? That's, yeah, that's good. Do that. And my daughters, I need to marry off. Kingdom of Novgorod, that'll be good. We'll grab that. And the other daughter, mm, nothing so big. It's going to be very necessary when we've got these uh, different rebel groups that are going to turn up. There we go. Now, this is an important war to fight. I shouldn't have actually been fighting this one. Oh, well, we're here now. Uh, because we, we're going to need to call in Novgorod. Uh, to help us fight this. Start a legend. Roman heritage. Okay, a lot of guys are gonna rise up against us, but we can replace them all with uh, loyal vassals. What I'm gonna need to do is call you into war here. Finish this off. This was a mistake. I should have done this war. Someone's tried to kill me. Okay, let's get to our capital. Ah, oh, Jesus, man. Uh, I found where Novgorod is, but you're not gonna like it. They're all dead from supply issues. Okay, that's a different war. So we'll call them into this war as well. Maruk is on the same side as, um, as one of their opponents in another war. That doesn't make any sense. Sure. Someone's trying to kill my son and heir. Why is he in prison? Why is he in prison by me? Dude, stop being in prison. Okay, so far so good. The issue is with the populace is I've got to find this guy. I don't know where he is. It says he's here, but he's not. All right, with this lot though, this should be pretty simple. Where are you? I need to see this guy's uh, capital down. There's another battle one. Okay, one thing I do want to do is start employing some people. Bodyguards and such. Try and get this guy to not kill me. I'm not sure how. He really hates me. But we'll just hope he doesn't kill me. I'm sure we'll be fine. Nice. Okay, that's one victory in the Greek Orthodox. Ooh. Um, what legitimacy or what do I want? Uh, let's just go for glory. Because I'm, yeah, we're going to need a lot of that uh, of prestige to form the Roman Empire. Okay, my son was has been killed. That's fine. We have this guy who's a lot better. Okay, can I call him now? I can. Fortunately... He's gonna take a while to get here. Fortunately for me though, I'm very, very good at fighting. So we'll just pick up some extra war score whilst we wait for our ally. All right, I think bit by bit we're getting the, I think this war's done. We can replace everyone with loyalists. No expense to rebuild. Should be it, unless he takes that back. Uh, nope, there we go. Okay, so that is uh, all of them pretty much done. I think some of them escaped, but we're gonna go now and get limited crown authority. And then we're going to revoke everyone's titles and replace them with uh, with people who are loyal. And some people immediately escape my uh, my wrath, but that's okay. I do need to increase my legitimacy. Um, I've always struggled with legitimacy in, in terms of trying to trying to raise it. Oh, this will help. Raise a runestone. I sent you to the throne of the Byzantines and put it in Byzantium. That helps. Okay. Now, there's probably going to be another rebellion, but we survived the worst of it. The important thing is to split all these things up as well. I feel like no one in the East rose up. Oh, no, I'm, I'm wrong. Someone did. Oh, this guy's powerful. Damn. Okay, this is a risk, but my bodyguard, I'm, uh, yeah, trying to increase his thing to me as much as possible. I made, uh, he is ambitious, which is a mistake. I shouldn't, I really shouldn't have uh, put that guy in, but I think it's really funny that he fought against me and we're just, now he's one of my vassals and my champion and keeps me safe at night. You know, it's just good stuff. Yeah, it's taking a little while, this, but it's, uh, it's obviously worth it. Well, these guys really hate me. I like if I raise someone up, it, they're like, yeah, we just don't like you. Okay, I think that's everyone. Do that I can't do. Uh, how about you? Revoke. I can revoke Epirus. The reason I'm not just like keeping them in prison uh, is because that would be a bad idea. Because uh, the second that they, they die, their kid would take over. Oh, this guy's an idiot. Perfect. Give him a title. Now the Yarl of Epirus. Well done, you dumb bastard. <laughs> Still more. Oh, Duke of Achaia. Keep giving these out to random little nobles. Any more for any more? I think we're all good now. There's a random count. Can't revoke that. Can't revoke that. I think we're all good otherwise. Sweet. All right, let's favor skilled outsiders. I don't know what that's going to do, but sure. We want... Uh, I don't know if this is going to help. Do that. Branch of the Sacred Tree to Uppsala. Sounds good. All right, let's hold court. X. Increasing our legitimacy a little bit at a time. Cool grand is at nine. All right, we're making a lot of money. This is, uh, yeah, this is very good stuff. All right, let's see how long we can get Hastings to live for then. Let's go on to the medicine focus. Let's get cracking. Okay, so we need uh, Romania, Genoa... Puglia, Antioch, all these different places. All right, let's go off to... Do I not con completely control Romania? Why would I not completely control Romania? What is this? I think it does. I, I think I do, but I'm like... It's called Latium, so that's kind of sucks. But we'll sort that out later. Okay, Genoa. Right, let's nip in and grab Genoa then. Claire Walk. Oh, I can invade Kingdom. Uh, that, uh, that, mm -hmm, that, that solves a lot of problems. So we could just sort of charge in and seize Italy. 
Is there anywhere else like that's large? I think that has to be the best possible option, right? I, yeah, it has to. Like, yeah, I, I think that that solves a lot of problems. All right, let's 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 charge and grab Italy then. Declare war, invade kingdom, kingdom of Italy. Let's do it. Raise all our troops up in Roma, and I'm gonna go through Genoa and go straight for the capital. Okay, the kingdom of Italy is one, still fine. No, it's actually better. The uh, now the capital's over there, right next to my land, in a terrible, terribly defended area. Dangerous faction. It's fine. Uh, that's why we call in our old buddy. Come on. Get that, get that, get that, get that, get that. You didn't quite get that, it's fine. I'm gonna take our time with this war. We really cannot afford to become too, too weak. Okay, that's gonna launch an ultimatum. Rokovic could deal with that, I think. We're not allied. Okay, we'll break that betrothal, find your spouse. Grand Principality of Hungary, that sounds good to me. Close by as well, it's actually better. Kingdom of Denmark, uh, yep, yeah, that sounds good as well. Pez not rising. Okay, let's call in our allies. Call you in as well. Okay, I've got the bloody flux, that's not good. I'm no longer I've got the bloody flux, ideal. Uh, that is my son. All right, we'll nip and kill this guy for Venezia. Okay, that we won immediately. I'm very happy with that. Okay, we're going to split up our troops. Half are going to go and fight, half are going to go siege. Okay, so there's that. Uh, we now need to hand out a lot of these titles. I swear, like, the, the wars take less time than, than this, the aftermath. Okay, so that is that. Dangerous faction is going to rise up again. That's okay, we'll deal with that. Pretty station my Menetops. <laughs> the reason I wanted the Byzantine capital as well, like, and, and the reason I went for Byzantium, obviously because you have a route to it as hasty uh but it's also because of the money like you can solve a lot of issues by just giving over cash that is a, a good plan so let's see what we need next still roman empire we need romania we'll do later capua and apulia and then the rest are in the east so capua and apulia three different wars now we have to do county of capua half are gonna go straight to the capital half are going to cheer probably takes like 300 troops to siege this town it's insane okay, there seems to be a plague simeon's plot looks oh, great thanks simeon you idiot i inherited the yaldum of Thales Thessaloniki. Do not want the Yaldum of Thessalonikia. I give it to someone else who might like the Yaldum of Thessalonikia. Hey, should be this done. There we go. Okay, so now we go for Napoli. Just just die quickly, man. This is this would be Capua done. Puglia, we're gonna require it's gonna require us to fight Italy again, fortunately. Use up the Kingdom of Italy. Sure, why not? We can afford it. Use up the Duchy of Tuscany. Don't know what that is. I'm actually gonna go through and create some of these things just because it's going to give me legitimacy and I need it desperately. Plus it means I don't have to deal with a lot of these rebellious vassals. I can instead just give it to like this guy. Someone a little bit better. Like this guy. Each one of these gives me a load of legitimacy or 25 legitimacy. So we need 45 uh, for level 4 legitimacy which is kind of rough. Like very rough indeed. Uh, but, but yeah. I don't know man. This is the best way I think I can think of doing it. Because each one of these like I said 25 legitimacy. Downside is it's really really dull. Really dull. But like I said it means I don't have to deal with loads of rebellious vassals. And it gets our prestige very high very quickly. Maybe I should have left this my son to do. Yeah that would have been really smart. I, I haven't done that though. Oh well. I have a claimant that wants the Byzantine Empire. Sure man. I'll be right with you. What do you want? Byzantine Empire. Two years. Sure Bulgaria. I'll take a truce with you. The territory of Apulia. I could probably do that in two years. Empress Vig, this has smallpox. Oh boy. And she's immediately dead. She didn't even, like, she didn't even get a chance to see. Uh, sure. You're a genius and you'll help manage my domain. So I'll marry you. Did you die? What happened to my new wife? Dude, she immediately died. <laughs> That's kind of rough. Oh, she was actually perfect. Oh no. It looks like the best thing to do. Or what I care if someone wants to murder my camp. It's one of the ones that rebelled against me, so. Let's create a title the Duchy of Apulia. Pope, will you come willingly? No? Okay, sort this out first then. It's gonna be a rebellion at home in a bit. I just really wanted to sort this. Because then we can start moving on to Egypt. Okay, so we have all of these traits. I'm gonna go down the theologian path, but frankly, I'm I'm happy just to sit like this, because he's 75. We don't have two too long. I'm I'm really not going that fast. Yeah, there's the uh, rebellion, it's fine. Because I'm gonna call in these guys who should be able to deal with it. Fortunately, every time I grant a vassal, it stresses me out. And I did not realize it until just now. Aetherwolf's Goblet. Cool. Pop that up. And the Carling House banner I also have for some reason. Why are you fat? <laughs> like already? All right. Who are we fighting against? Primarily you over here. Where's your capital? All right, let's head there. It's actually a decent amount of troops. Talk to Confidant. Uh, determined personal deity. You should probably have done this. Uh, let's do this one up. There we go. Immediately captured him. Thank you. All right. And now we do this old thing. I don't know who else was involved. Okay. This guy. I swear I already replaced this once. This whole, like, Albania thing. But sure. Do a better job of keeping them under wraps, please. Like I said, the Eastern stuff, they, they seem to just be chill, man. All right. Pompeopolis. Hand you off. Amestris. Ah, reminds me of an awesome game I played in, uh, in Pirithal Rome. I think that's everyone. It wasn't a very big rebellion. Okay, so that's that done. How are we doing on the Roman front? 
Romagna dealing with. So we've got Islid in Croatia, Antioch, Shea, Barnard, Alexandria. All right, let's go for Alexandria then. 17,000 troops versus his not 17,000. All right, where do I put my troops? Over here. I'm on Crete for now, I think. Yeah, I reckon we land straight on him. So how many troops does he have? Only like 1,000, right? Yeah, okay, let's split in two. And then you lot are gonna go over here and siege his capital. See if we can get this done quickly. How old are you, buddy? 77. Cling, my friend, cling to the last vestiges of life. Every time I hear curse, like see curse, you're, I, I panic. Right, let's just attack him. Maybe we can get enough war score. We do. Okay, excellent. Enforced demands. There's Alexandria. Is that what you were talking about when you said Alexandria? I didn't actually check. Roman Empire. Alexandria's done. Okay, Antioch, Shaibanid. Okay, we're gonna have to do one of those now because we're gonna revisit later. I imagine someone did this in real life. It'd be insane. Uh, okay, we can't use up that. Okay, so we want Shaibanid Emirates, or do we want we need to completely control Antioch? I think it's I think it's this place, Antioch. Okay. Uh where are you? Still Roman Empire. Antioch is this one here. Okay. This one's, I mean still not that hard, I don't think. Duchy of Antioch. We're close by. The one. Okay, move our rally point right close next to it. And let's crack on. So how many troops do you have? 2,800. Okay. I'm going to go land directly on Antioch then. Stress one up for, and I don't know why. That terrifies me. Okay, independence. Yeah, you guys really hate me, huh? That's fine. I hate you too. Let's do 1%. Let's just spread out a little bit. Anything that has high, like, siege progress, I don't think it's worth taking. Troth can marry. They won't accept. Why? I, sure. Who's this clown? Okay, we're allies. It's fine. Good. I was very concerned then. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's Antioch done. You're my prisoner. That's actually really unfortunate. Because you're immediately going to join the independence faction. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to deal with them. How close are we now? Okay, Shebanid, which is down south. That's one more war. Romania, we deal with. We need to be a legendary figure. We're struggling with that. Islids, Croatia. Banid, Croatia, and then the Islids. Where's Islid? Tunis. Okay, let's go after Tunis then. So my thought process now is how do we get all the prestige we're going to need? And I think we're going to have to do something like a grand tour or a feast or a I don't know. Plan a funeral, I guess. Is there someone to bury? Sure. All right, let's do it. As much prestige as possible. She, she'd understand. He seems ill. Crusades. That's kind of rough. I'd have been hoping to avoid that a little bit. 895 is a little bit early. There we go. Tunis done. Let me use up this. Then hand it over to you. So then you can control these guys instead of me. All right, still dangerous faction. What I'm going to do is increase... This lot, because it's going to increase my power a bunch. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you and instead get more Varangians. The Varangians are just good. Does that change things? No. Okay, so Tunis is done. Is it just Croatia now? Restore the Roman Empire. I need completely control Tunis. No, I, there's still land I need to take down here. I can't declare war because I'm out of activity. Oh, that's kind of rough. No longer ill. All right, there's going to be a great holy war against us, which is going to be a bit rough to fight, but here we are. I think it's... The, he's in my lands. Why would we not just stop him from doing this? I don't know why the Lombards actually look pretty good for us. I mean, that's a bit rough. And I call these guys against the Crusade, which is good. Stacks the numbers in our favor. Try a couple of different battles here. The beautiful thing about the Crusades is that the uh, AI doesn't understand how supply works. And so they'll just die over and over and over again once they come here in great enough numbers. Also, you can just crush them like this because they come peacemen. Massive battles taking place, but it's fine. Because, you know, Hastings, that guy. I just gotta make sure I don't fall victim to the same supply things I mock the uh, AI for doing. All right, massive battle, massive victory. I think that's literally it. 98, 99, 100. Great holy war, all done. That gives us 4,000 piety and gives us closer to that legendary figure side of things. So that's nice. Okay, we just need to deal with a brief invasion and then we're back to our original plan. It's 84. Okay, this, whew, it's getting tight. There we go. Okay, what do we have left? We're now legendary figure, so we've done that. We just need Shebanid, Croatia, and then sort out Romania. When can we go to all with you again? We've got a truce, so we need Croatia. I think that's just Croatia itself. Okay, perfect. We've got literally nothing. Conquer the duchy of Croatia. Come on, buddy. Stay alive. Stay alive. Look, Count Hastings. There are still 77 men and 97 men in Count Hastings' host. The original boys. I had hoped to do this like over several generations, but if we could do it in one, yeah, that would be amazing. Do you know what? And that done. I think, honestly, a battle might do it. There we go. Turn this off. Hey, I think I think that's everything. No, Croatia's still not done. Okay, well, let's go after you because I think it's the Barnet of Croatia. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just declare war for the Duchy so I'm 100% certain I know uh, I'm in the right place. Yeah, it is that one. Okay, cool. Just gotta make sure sometimes. No, for God's sake, another ultimatum. Where are you guys coming from? How have you not died? This man's literally called the effeminate. I swear I, I replaced you. Oh, I know I replaced you. They must have risen up and overthrown them. Uh, this man's 86 and he doesn't have that much time. Oh, you've been occupying my territory at the same time. That'll be why. 
I was wondering why we didn't just instantly win. I will not be threatened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me a sec. There are three allies, but they're all really weak. I can't get any more. All right. Oh, Kina Sweden. That's really not ideal. Why? 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 The Alderman Neustria. Yeah, hell yeah. Call cool you in. All right, let's call cool you in. What happened to the Neustria guy? Oh, I think I married off the wrong person. Great. So I've lost access to the 7,000 troops. All right, that's that war one at least. Okay. Head back to Durakion and we'll go from there. So it's the Bus... Okay, that's quite close. Nice. We'll go deal with that. We just need a bit of supply first. And we'll do it without supply. We'll be fine. You share your supplies. Let's go straight to the capital. Don't... Okay, why would you walk through? I'm going to let you do it because it's stupid, but like... And I find it funny. Walk through, stack up a couple of people. Ah, that's even more damage. Fight that even though we're massively outnumbered. Ooh, didn't realize I was starving there. Mistake. Okay, so that's that war one. We're actually legitimate for the first time, so that's nice. Uh, do I go through and replace everyone? I don't think I'm going to. Just because of the simple fact that they always, like, rise up anyway. Well, not every time. But a lot of the time they do. Shebanid Emirate. That's what we want next. Jerusalem. Okay, let's move the rally point. I think I'm just going to land directly on Jerusalem. Dynasty Legacy. We don't really need the prestige anymore. Uh, Natural Dread. See if we can stop him from rebelling. Our court is very, very skilled. That's nice. Okay, they're attacking us over there. That's fine. Okay, something changed. Turn into the Arabian Empire. Okay, that's actually ideal. It means he chucked away all his troops. And he only has 186 men. <laughs> Okay, right. The game, the game's clearly throwing me a bone here, dude. I gotta tell koi fish to do this. This is a lot of fun. Okay, spreading out a decent amount here. Above my domain limit. Why? Who died? I hate having to scan my all of my lands for just a province. Sulum. That sounds out of place. Yep. There we go. Raran claim on the county of Bologna. Okay, I've inherited that wall. Sure. I'll go send three thousand now. This is, there's no threat coming this side. But surely you'd just peace out. You're like, actually, I don't want to fight Hastings, the man who went from count all the way to byzantine emperor and maybe even more all right there we go jerusalem has been won that holy war actually saved me because i don't know if i'd have been able to get the prestige in time but thanks to you know the pope declaring war on me and all my little vassals to be fair that's something good that came out of it um my like out of out of sitting there and, and oh god not on a, one, not one of these um out of, like slowly slowly like and meticulously putting in see you catholic yep you are at least you're some of them are still uh Norse. Um, but yeah, it meant that they joined in the Holy War. Yeah, see, I, I swear to God, I did hurt these again and again and again. I gotta give them more land, I think, so they can hold. Okay, we've won this war. <sighs> okay, I can get rid of the Pope if I completely, uh, like, get rid of uh, Italia. Store the Roman Empire. So now, uh, we still need Antioch, apparently. Oh, okay, Cyprus, sure. Click Dutch Eats, then I can make sure to get it right. Where did I bring up my troops from? Oh, it's here. That's useful. Okay, just gotta take you out. I'm scared about the Latium thing. I don't know. I've left it to the last just in case. It doesn't work. Okay, there's that. Alexandretta is done. So that should mean the only thing left is complete control of Romania. So the way I'm gonna... That's Romania. Ah, I thought this was Romania. Okay, cool. So I just need to get rid of the Principality of Romania, right? Yeah, awesome. I love getting rid of the Principality of Romania. It's my favorite thing. I thought it was talking about Latium. I thought it meant like Rome and then like I, I, I was going to have to get rid of Rome. But no, sweet. That's gone really well. Oh, this guy is the Empress's lover. All right, well, f fair enough. I'm going to let her out though. I'm going to forgive her simply because uh, she helps manage my domain. Why aren't you managing my domain anymore? Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to... Uh, no, there we go. She's managing the domain now. I was about to divorce you. Whew. Not for being unfaithful, but for, you know, not being able to uh, help me with the taxes. How old is he now? 92. <laughs> this man. I almost clicked decline on this call to arms here. If I'd done that, I'd have lost the uh, uh, level of fame, which would have been very upsetting. There you go. So be it. And this out. All right. Where's this? Okay, I'll, I'll come help. I can't believe I stayed as a star this entire time. I'm probably dancing and weaving out of the way. All right, there we go. And what's this? Chief of Verend. All right, I'll come help with that as well. Just give me a second to get my goddamn health back. Or at least my breath back. Are you still, like, losing supplies? Why? Go go to the capital then. I don't know. Oh, look, you're just starving. Yeah, you are. Okay. Go resupply, man. Okay, I've disbanded it all. Now, raise a runestone. Sure. Restore the Roman Empire. Uh, why isn't it letting me? Oh, I've done everything. Huh? Oh, God. I have to, I have to change faith somehow. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I think we need to be Roman culture. I don't know how to be Roman. And one of the following. So I think if I become Christian, what? Okay. All this time I could have could have just converted to Christianity, huh? If I convert the faith, a little bit stupid. He can't claim the Roman Empire, but sure. Other faiths, 
Uh, we're gonna go to orthodoxy because it makes sense. Convert to faith, convert to faith. Okay, and now we can do it. Restore the Roman Empire. There we go. Iso Perpetua. You've got the Roman Empire. The Byzantine Empire is destroyed. You get Augustus. Hastine is the current ruler of the restored Roman Empire and commands the respect of an office of such magnitude. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. After a miraculous recovery of territory lost centuries ago, the Roman Empire has been reborn. Europe has endured dark times since barbarians stormed the Imperial frontiers, like me. But now a bright new age has dawned for all civilization. Whereas countless Greek pretenders failed, it took one Norse to succeed. Restoring the failed empire of the Greeks to its Imperium Romanarum. Stand strong once more. Uh, restored to its ancient glory under my own light and rule. It ready to spread civilization, safety, and the holy light of our Lord to all the corners of the known world for the Senate and the people of Rome. Esto perpetua. Roman Empire. <laughs> Can I convert back to a star room? That's so true, sorry. No, I'd need another 7,000. Well, still, I, I count that as a win, uh, even though I could have been a Satra the entire time. But that's fine. We did it, though. We uh, fully restored our own empire as Hastine. He's 94 years of age. Oh, reclaim Rome. Uh, Catarone becomes your Rome capital. Let's do that. Rome is now our Rome capital. We could found the Holy Order. Sure. We're actually close to being a religious icon. That's cool. Anyway, chaps, if you did enjoy, please do let me know in the uh, comments down below. France has been completely ruined, which has made my day. Uh, and I think we should get koi fish to do this because, you know, it'll be fun. Uh, 95, 94 year old. Uh, he did, I'll be honest, when he went in firm twice, I did reload. So to be clear, I did do that. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, chaps, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.